Hi. Welcome to Movie X, today I'll be explaining the movie Leon from 1994. Spoilers ahead. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Leon is a hitman or cleaner as he would rather be known living a solitary life in New York City's Little Italy. Most of his work comes from a mafioso named Tony, who operates from the Supreme Macaroni Company retail store. Leon spends his idle time engaging in calisthenics, nurturing a houseplant that early on he describes as his best friend, and, in one scene, watching old Gene Kelly musicals. Leon is highly motivated and efficient. He kills plenty of bodyguards so that a fat guy called Fat Man receives a phone call threatening him. A dumb blonde walks away non-noncommittally and says she will call him later, not wanting to get involved in the matter. On a particular day on his way home, he sees Matilda Lando, a 12-year-old girl with a black eye and smoking a cigarette, living with her dysfunctional family in an apartment down the hallway. Matilda's father attracts the ire of corrupt DEA agents, who have been paying him to store cocaine in his residence, after they discover that he has been stealing some of the drugs for himself. A cadre of DEA agents storm the building, led by a ragged and drug-addicted Norman Stansfield. Stansfield shoots Matilda's entire family with a shotgun, the prostitute-looking mother, the aerobic-obsessed elder sister and the friendly little brother, missing Matilda only because she is out shopping when they arrive. An elderly lady comes back inquiring what the rackus is about, and Stansfield shoots the glass behind her, but considers her harmless so he lets her be, just barking at her go back inside. When Matilda returns with the groceries she was sent to buy and notices the carnage, she calmly continues down the hallway past the open door of her family's apartment, and receives sanctuary from a reluctant Leon. One of the agents, looks at Matilda, quizzingly, as she has to insistently ring the bell on and on before Leon lets her in. Stansfield realizes that there's a little girl missing because of a family photograph he's found. When the news reaches the door guard, he approaches Leon's apartment, wondering whether the girl who was accepted there was the missing girl. Leon prepares himself to shoot him, watching through a hidden peephole, but at that moment, Matilda turns on the TV with some Transformers cartoons, which convinces the guard that he saw another girl who had nothing to do with the situation. Leon offers some consolation to Matilda, making her smile when he argues that pigs smell well and are better than many people, and make pretends that the puppet pig he's using is talking to her. Matilda, who soon discovers that Leon is a hitman, begs him to become her caretaker, and to teach her his skills as a cleaner, she wants to avenge the murder of her four-year-old brother, the only member of her family that she actually loved. In return, she offers herself as a maid and teacher, remedying Leon's illiteracy. Matilda says that he could have let her to die outside that door, but as he opened it, now he's responsible for her well-being. At first, Leon refuses point-blank, being a cleaner is not a job for girls, and then he alleges that she's not made for that. To answer to that, Matilda shoots some pigeons with one of the guns Leon is cleaning. Leon hesitantly accepts her offer and the two begin working together, slowly building an emotional attachment, with Leon becoming a friend and father figure. They leave Leon's apartment, and Leon begins to settle some rules. Matilda carries Leon's plant, accepting everything, and convinces the hotel clerk, George Martin, that she's preparing for an audition, and that she won't practice after 10. When the hotel clerk asks Leon to fill up the registration form, Matilda jumps right in and says you know how much I love registering. Can I do it, daddy? Leon breaths, and appreciates that Matilda is resourceful. The hotel clerk congratulates Leon because he's got a good daughter, but he's got a 17-year-old who can't do anything. Leon leaves his plan at reception. He checks everything in the room, the exits, the windows, while Matilda fills up the form. As they work together, Matilda admits to Leon several times that she is falling in love with him, in spite of him making her drink a glass of milk every day. Tony has been keeping Leon's money, instead of it being put into a bank. As Leon was illiterate, he didn't want to have to deal with it. Leon asks if he could give it to somebody, Tony tells him that he's like a bank, only that there's no paperwork involved, but that he's got all the accountancy in his mind, and that is security enough. Tony wants Leon to renew work, as training won't earn him any money. Leon prevents Matilda from flirting with a guy, a cute teenage boy a little older than herself, she replies that they were only sharing a cigarette, to which Leon answers that he wants her to quit smoking. Leon adds that she should stay away from him, as he looks like a weirdo. Leon walks to work. Matilda tells the hotel clerk that she's fed up of practicing her instrument and that Leon is not her father, but her lover. Matilda walks back to her old flat. She slips past a police guard and picks up a teddy bear and a stack of bills hidden under a loose floor plank. She has to hide, because the FBI is questioning Stansfield, who is being a jackass about the people he killed in the line of duty. He shouts to the FBI guy that kids should be at school, 
and also shouts his office number. Matilda follows Stansfield by taxi to the police station. Matilda is watching cartoon Transformers again when Leon arrives with blood dripping down an arm and a pink dress for her. The hotel clerk arrives with two men, and throws Leon and Matilda out. In another hotel, Leon takes a shower and stitches a wound in the chest, where he's been hurt. Matilda wants to pay Leon to kill her brother's killers, but Leon doesn't want to. He tells her that life changes after the first time you kill somebody. She wants to play Russian roulette with him. She threatens him with killing herself and at the last second he pushes the pistol away. Matilda and Leon go talk with Tony. As Matilda increases her confidence and experience, she locates Stansfield, follows him to his office in the DEA building. She attempts to kill him, only to be ambushed by Stansfield in a bathroom. Leon finds a note she left him declaring her intentions and rushes to the federal building. He rescues her, killing two of Stansfield's men in the process. Stansfield is enraged that the Italian hitman has gone rogue and is killing his men. He confronts Tony and threatens him, eventually beating him into surrendering Leon's whereabouts. Later, as Matilda returns home from grocery shopping, an NYPD ASU team, sent by Stansfield, takes her hostage and attempts to infiltrate Leon's apartment. Leon ambushes the ASU team and takes one of their members hostage, rapidly bartering him for Matilda's freedom. As they slink back into the apartment, Leon creates a quick escape for Matilda as he reassures her and tells her that he loves her moments before they come for him. In the chaos that follows, Leon sneaks out of the apartment building disguised as a wounded ASU officer, almost unnoticed except for Stansfield. Stansfield follows Leon into the hotel lobby and shoots him from behind. Looming over the dying Leon, Stansfield jeers him haughtily. However just before he gives out, Leon places an object in Stansfield's hands, which he explains is from Matilda. Opening his hands, Stansfield recognizes it as grenade pin. He rips open Leon's vest to discover several grenades on his chest. Stansfield lets out a brief oh shit before a massive explosion destroys the hotel lobby. Matilda heads to Tony's place as she was instructed to do by Leon. Tony will not give Matilda more than a few dollars of the fortune Leon had amassed, which was being held by Tony. His reasoning is that she is not old enough to receive the large amount of money and that school should be her priority until she's older. When Matilda asks Tony to give her a job, and insists that she can clean as Leon had, Tony sternly informs her that he ain't got no work for a 12-year-old kid. Having nowhere else to go, she is then seen going to Roosevelt Island using the Roosevelt Island tramway. The next day, she returns to school in NJ. Seemingly readmitted to the school, Matilda walks into a field in front of it with Leon's houseplant in hand, she digs a hole and plants the houseplant in the grounds of the school, as she had told Leon he should, to give it roots. To stay updated, be sure to subscribe and let me know what you thought of today's video in the comments below. At last, stay safe and thanks for watching.